In this tutorial, I will be teaching you on how to draw a borderline. First of all, what is a borderline? A borderline is a line that is drawn around the inside edge of the paper. Now, this is the paper, right? The line that you are drawing inside the edge of the paper, these are the edges of the paper. The line you draw inside is said to be the borderline and it is 10 millimeter into the paper at all direction what i mean by all direction now if i'm to measure my borderline i'm taking this i will take my meter rule depending on what you are measuring with but in this tutorial we're making use of centimeter and millimeter right so if I pick up my meter rule, in between each of my meter rule, each of the numbers on my meter rule is one centimeter, which is equivalent to 10 millimeter. So every one centimeter is equals to 10 millimeter. So if I move from zero to one, it is 10 millimeter, which means I'm saying one centimeter. If I move from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or 3 to 4, it means 10, 10 millimeter each, which is 1, 1 centimeter each. Now, if I will not take my meter rule to the edge of my drawing sheet, this is the edge here, and I will ensure I take one of those numbers. Let's say I'm taking 0. If I place 0, if you look at it closely, 0 should be in line with the edge of the paper and from that edge to this point here is said to be one centimeter which is in 10 millimeter we will measure in millimeter right i will move to another point again i'll do the same thing measure another one centimeter so from zero to this is another one centimeter which is 10 millimeter right i will not take I will now come join those two points together because it takes two points to form a straight line. So if I place it this way, I will ensure that my meter rule I am using to join the um, two lines should be in the inside of the paper. So if I place it this way, not at the outside of the paper, but what? The inside of the paper, right? Now if I combine these two, this is what I will be having. Now I will just draw it with my faint line this way. I have this like it is not visible, right? So at the edge of that paper, I'll come again. I am going to measure another 10 millimeters. So I'm starting from two upward. So from two to one is another one centimeter with the center as in 10 millimeter. I'll come up here also on that same line on the same line here that I measured, I will measure another 10 millimeter from zero here to one is 10 millimeter, right? I will now tick in those lines. So from this point here to this point will be what I am going to tick in. So if I tick in here to here, from this point, straight down to this point, I'll be having this. You can see that so it means that from here to here is what i'll take in now i am going to move to the other side also and i'll repeat the same fit from the edge ensure that my two is in line with the edge of the paper so if i do that this is the edge here so two to one is 10 millimeter which is the same saying one centimeter then two to one again. You can see that two to one is what we have here. Now I'll take my meter rule, depending on whatever I want to use, I can use my meter rule and take it inside the paper, and I'm going to join these two points together this way. 
right? Put my faint line first. You can see that. So from on that line that I measure, I'm going to take the meter rule and I will measure 10 millimeter downwards from the edge here. This 10 millimeter. I'll come here also and move from 13. I move from 13. Oh. Measure another 10 millimeter, so 13 to 12 is another 10 millimeter. So I'll now combine, join these two points together. This time I am going to what? Thicken it, right? So if I do that, this is what I will be having. You can see that. This will have here now. What I will do is I will now join these two points together. I'll join these two points together. I see that also. I'll join these two points together. So the moment I've done it, this is what I'm having, right? You must ensure that um, there is no extended line from the edge. It should just be a rectangle that is placed on a paper. So this is what we call the border line. Now the next thing I am going to be introducing you with is the title block. Now the title block is always located at the bottom corner of my drawing sheet. This is a drawing sheet. So the title block is located at the bottom corner of the drawing sheet, basically at the right hand side. So once you've done your tight, your border line, the next thing you to do is what is your title block. But before then you have to stick your drawing sheet on your drawing board now how will you do that you're going to take your rule let's say your t square and you place it at the edge of your drawing board right so when you play at the edge of your drawing board it should be perpendicular at the edge of your drawing board such that it is forming 90 degree with your what your drawing board you will now move your drawing sheet so that it will conform with the edge of your T square. So this is what we have here. You can see that? That will be at the edge of your drain sheet. You will now pick up your masking tape or your taco pin and you clip the edges of what of your drawing sheet to your drawing board this way and um, you move to the other side also depending on how you want it ensure that your masking tape is not um on your line and you can now move this and you do this you adjust this and you address this that's what we have here so this is the next step you are going to do. You ensure that it is placed on your drawing board. Now we will now start. Now the title block is a block that contains vital information. Your name, your registration number, matric number, drawing number, 
your institution and so on and so forth the type of drawing you want to draw the scale now it varies from institution to institution and from department to department you need have to have a length of the what of the title block some schools will tell you it is 50 that will be the length of the title block some will tell you it is 100 some will tell you it's 120 so it depends on the specification of what your lecturer your teacher or your supervisor now i will measure 160 or i'll use 150 at the length of my what my title block so if i place it this way from 0 to 15 is given as what 150 you can see that so i'm actually starting from 0 to what to 15 so let me just take this up a little bit so from 0 to 15 is 0 here and this is what 15 here now the next thing you do is the height right so what i will do is i will make use of my um t square right you when you use your t square and your set square together you form a perpendicular line so if i place my t square my set square with my t square in this way and it's moving this way you ensure that the line you will draw be perpendicular and i want to draw a vertical line here my y axis so if i move my set square or my t square to that point I will have a line this way that is the line I have now on that line I'm going to depend on the specification given to you some institution might decide to use the height of the line to be 40 some might decide to use it to be 50 and so on and so forth but I will be making use of what height of what 60 so if I place my meter rule here this is 6 here from 6 to 0 is 60 millimeter, right? Which is in the same 6 centimeter. Now I will now take in that two points from here to here. I will take in it. You can see that? Now I will now use my T square properly, moving at the edge of my drawing board, right? To that point now some of you will want to say okay since i have measured 50 and 60 here i'll come here also and measure 60 here if you do that you are still correct but to give you an effective and faster way of drawing you make use of the words your t square so we're measuring from here to here just imagine if i measure from 6 here again to this point is 60 i'll just, just use my um my meter rule and just connect the two points but it wastes my time what I will do is I will move my T square to that point, ensure it's tangential to the edge of my board. That means it is at the edge of my board. Then I'll move it this way to that point. And I'll draw a line, taking it from this point straight down to this point. You can see that? Straight down to that point. This is what we have here. Now the next thing now is since I measure 60 from 0 to 6, you can see that. So I'll start marking. This will be my each line each point should be 10 millimeter apart i will be marking it this way because from 0 to 1 is 10 millimeter apart one is the, apart from 2 is 10 millimeter distance between 2 and 3 10 millimeter 3 and 4 10 millimeter that's what i will do then i'll now use my so i'll be measuring here again i'll just use my t square and move it to those points and i'm going to connect this to this point i will connect this to this point i'll come here again connect this to this point i'll come here again connect this to this point i'll come here connect this to this point you can see that and this is what we have here now the next thing is depending on your what on your supervisor your lecturer your teacher they might tell you they have different designs now for me i'll say from here to the next point should be what 30. so if i measure from 0 to 3 i'll be having what 30. 
right? And I will take, with the help of my C square, I'll stand it perpendicular to my T square. If I move it this way to where it is, I'll draw a line from this point straight down to this point here. You can see that. I might come here also again, measure another 30 at this edge, depending on your lecturer or your teacher. So move 30 again from here to this point. And do repeat the same fit. Place it here, and I'm going to draw this to this, then this to this, depending on what you actually want. Now, this is how you draw your title block depending on your lecturer specification or your teacher specification. It can change from this. But you use the same principle the way I used to draw using the help of my T square and my C square to draw, right? So I successfully drawn out the title block. The most important thing now is to put in the details in the title block, and that will be with the help of what lettering, right? There are ways that we to write out alphabet in engineering drawing or in technical drawing, and that will what I'll be showing you in my next video so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching